Chers invités, chers amis en ligne, bonjour, bonsoir. Nous commençons ce live avec quelques minutes de retard, nous vous prions de nous en excuser. Et nous recevons aujourd'hui le directeur général de MTN, Mme Pilissi Ouessibia, qui est ici avec moi. Vous aurez l'occasion de lui poser vos questions. Vous pourrez poser vos questions en ligne sur euh, les espaces réservés aux commentaires sur YouTube. Vous pourrez le faire dans quelques minutes sur Facebook. Vous pourrez le faire aussi sur euh, Twitter en utilisant le hashtag AskMTNC. H-A-S-K-M-T-N-C. Et nous verrons vos questions et nous pourrons y répondre. Hello, Pili. Hello. Welcome. Thank you very much. Just let you greet uh, our people uh, watching online. Hello to all our customers and hello to everybody in the room. Uh, thank you so much for dialing in and taking your time to be with us today. Okay. So we'll start to talk about uh, what MTN did in Cameroon since... Uh, 2000, our footprint. Are you ready for that? I am. I'm very excited uh, about today. Uh, today is really a start of an exciting journey for MTN. Uh, it's a journey that is hopefully not going to be a once-off journey. It's a journey that we hope to be a continuous engagement. I'm hoping to do this as frequently as possible. Uh, if not once a month, personally, somebody within my executive team to keep, this is not just a trend. Uh, what we are aiming to do today with today is to listen to our customers. So today is not really about me talking about MTN. It is about interacting with our customers. It is about hearing what our customers have got to say, how they experience MTN daily in their lives. What are they enjoying when they interact with MTN? But most importantly, obviously, what are they not enjoying? So it's a journey about constantly improving. It's a journey about making sure that our customers have got very close proximity to us. So I'm really excited about today. But before I start about MTN, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, obviously, my name is Pili. Um, it's now my third year in Cameroon. Uh, it feels like I've been here for a very long time. Uh, I started uh, on the 1st of April in 2015, uh, and it's been an amazing journey. Uh, personally, I am, I am married uh, to Samuel Kachikoti, um, so my CBI is actually my maiden surname. Uh, I've got two kids, uh, a boy and a girl. Uh, a boy is 10, uh, and a girl who is four years old. Um, I've been with MTN all my life, pretty much, since I left uh, high school. Uh, well, since I left university, really, uh, I started my first engagement with MTN as a customer, uh, believe it or not. Uh, I joined MTN uh, as an auditor at the time I was, I was with Arthur Anderson. And um, obviously, I got the yellow fever, I got the yellow blood, and I never left. So I've been here pretty much since 2000 uh, and I love this company I love this brand uh, in terms of MTN uh, obviously this is not about talking about Pili uh, it's about talking about us and the company uh, MTN Cameroon is part of a greater brand it's part of the MTN group uh, MTN Cameroon ranks very highly within the MTN group uh, MTN group operates close to 40 countries uh, in terms of having net, uh, a, a, a cell phone network, we are in 22 countries. Uh, and MTN Cameroon, in terms of various measures, is constantly in the top five uh, of those 22 uh, countries. So it's not a small operation. Uh, we started in Cameroon since 2000. Uh, we've been here uh, for 17 years, and what a journey it has been. Uh, who is MTN? What do we do? Uh, like I said, we are part of a greater group and we are a digital company. We started as a telecoms company and we've really, in the last couple of years, obviously with the arrival of digitization, we've really become a digital company, meaning we play into various sectors of digitization beyond just telecommunications. We do various things. Obviously, one that people are familiar with, uh, it is our classic telecommunications business, but we've got many other businesses. We've got uh, 
key segments being mobile money business and what we call our digital business. Uh, it's been an interesting journey in the last 17 years. We started as Camtel, uh, and most people don't know that, that uh, MTN was uh, uh, acquired. Uh, we bought Camtel Mobile, uh, and we became MTN Cameroon. We've grown to be by far the biggest network operator in Cameroon. Uh, we have got by far the biggest network in Cameroon. Uh, and in the last three years, we are by far the biggest 4G network operator. And for us, that is an exciting wave and the new era of where MTN is going. So the arrival of the internet world uh, and, and pretty much very fast broadband is what has transformed us from being a telecommunications company into being a truly digital business. So going forward, obviously the biggest achievement in the last two years has been the transformation from that original telecom voice business to being the multiplayer business that we are. Um, we have got over a thousand full-time employees that work at MTN. Uh, we've got the biggest network uh, in terms of uh, various uh, uh, tele uh, uh, co communications channels. We've got 2G technology, we've got 3G technology, we've got 4G technology, and we've got fixed. Um, and all of that uh, is sold as part of our mobile uh, internet business. Um, in terms of the second part of our business, of late we've been uh, driving very much to grow our mobile money business. And I'm very happy to say that Currently, we've got close to 4 million uh, registered mobile money customers. Uh, we have started really um, entering into a new phase of mobile money. We've in, 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 in May, we entered a new phase where we had a million customers, over a million customers that interacted with mobile money in the last 90 days. Um, so we are really seeing a huge growth of our mobile money business. But more than that, we are a people's company. Uh, and for me, that is what is exciting about us. We are not just technology centric. Uh, we are very much a people's business. We, uh, our employees are very important to us. Our customers are very important to us. Uh, and we play very much into various sectors of our employees' lives. One of our key deliverables is to make sure that this is the happiest place to work. It's the most fun. It's a tough place to work uh, in terms of it's a highly competitive sector, but one of the key uh, deliverables that I have as a CEO is to make sure that I have got the most engaged team that comes to work, wakes up every day, and wants to work here. Uh, and obviously, lastly, um, it is our customer. Uh, it is the story of how we can be the best customer-centric business uh, in terms of customer service, making sure that we can deliver the best products, making sure that there is an ease of accessing our products, and making sure that our customers are happy to use our products. So that is MTN in a nutshell. Sorry for the long-winded explanation, but we had to start somewhere. Long, but uh, well, it was necessary to help us understand and yeah. help uh, people listening to us to have a better understanding uh, Absolutely. Who, who is MTN, uh, where are we from, where are we going to. Euh, chers, chers, chers invités en ligne, euh, j'espère que vous avez écouté. Un petit résumé juste pour rappeler que MTN, qui était une compagnie de télécommunication, de téléphonie, est devenue depuis quelques temps une entreprise focalisée sur la technologie, focalisée sur les ressources humaines et aussi focalisée sur ses clients. Et c'est avec un ensemble de services et de produits que nous comptons vous amener progressivement vers ce futur de plus en plus euh, brillant. Et je vous l'ai dit au départ, vous pourrez poser toutes vos questions. Il y a probablement des questions qui arrivent depuis que nous avons annoncé ce live. Et, uh, Pili, you, you already have some, some questions at your, uh, at, at your level. So we can start to, to, to answer to people questions. Je me rassure avec la régie que, que nous avons quelques questions. Régie Alors, comme je vous l'ai dit, vous pouvez poser vos questions sur Twitter. Vous vous rassurez que vous avez ajouté le hashtag AskMTNC. Sinon, ça va être difficile de retrouver vos questions. Vous utilisez le même hashtag sur les autres réseaux sociaux. 
ce qui va nous permettre de répondre à toutes vos questions aujourd'hui. Et je m'en vais, puisqu'on est en live tout de suite, euh, sur Twitter par exemple, faire la recherche à partir de Ask MTNC et voir ce que nous avons comme question déjà. Alors, nous avons une question, if I may mm -hmm. ask. We have a question from Roland, Roland Lowolon, asking uh, your biggest challenge since you are CEO of MTN Cameroon. Thank you, Roland, for your question. Um, the biggest challenge, I think, is the pace of transformation of our sector. Um, our sector in the last three years has gone from being a very basic Uh, sector, we were offering two products. We were offering voice and SMS, and that's pretty much was our was 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 our business. But in the last three years, um, after we started launching our new technologies, the 3G and the 4G technology, the rate of transforming the business and transforming and taking our customers with us into this new digitized world has been very, very challenging, not just for the company, but how do we take our customers with us uh, in this journey? Because a lot of our customers in the last three years have really started adopting and taking up the internet. How do we make sure that our customers understand how the internet works? How do we secure the internet? But also how do they understand how the pricing and the billing works in the internet world. So the challenge has been very much inward and outside because the product is very new for our customers. Social media at the same time has arrived en mass in Cameroon. So you have got the adoption of our sector in making sure that our sector can adopt, in making sure that they can take up these services, but do they really understand the implications of this new digital world. So the transformation and the speed of transformation, both for our customers and both for us internally, I think has been the, and, and it's a global phenomenon. This is a global w new way of work. If you look at the top five biggest companies in the world right now, they are all telco businesses. Um, you are looking at companies like Amazon. You are looking at Apple being the biggest company in the world. Uh, Microsoft, who used to be the biggest company, I think is now number four. You're looking at Google, uh, all of a sudden, who, who's, who's entered, started as a search engine, and is now ended up being one of the biggest companies that you can find. You're looking at Facebook. Facebook started also just a social media, but they have acquired so many premium brands. They've got WhatsApp. So if you look at all these massive you know, technologies that have arrived just in the last five years alone that we are all, you know, first interacting with. It's meant a huge transformation for our sector, but also has disrupted the way in which our customers used to interact. If you sit in any meeting, most people are busy typing on their phones. So the traditional way of communicating has been completely disrupted. And I think most of us haven't really understood or don't even know where that journey is going because we are just at the start of the journey. Just when Facebook was popular, enter Instagram. You know, when Instagram was just taking off, you know, enter something. So the, the journey and the pace um, has been really, really fast for the sector. Okay, we have uh, another question. A question from Tatiana Zebaze asking why we don't use to publish uh, our jobs offers. Thank you, Tatiana. Uh, Tatiana, I hope you've logged into my website. Uh, <laughs> we've got the most beautiful websites I can assure you. And if you go to my website, uh, mtnc.cm um, or mtn.cm, uh, and you go under the job section, you will see many, many jobs uh, that we advertise online. So please, Uh, go into my beautiful website and give me feedback and log in. You can go to LinkedIn uh, and you'll find all the jobs at MTN. At any point in time, we are recruiting. Uh, 
uh, being Tatiana, I'm assuming that she's a lady. Tatiana, sure. we are, I'm very passionate about hiring ladies, so please go online and look at what you can find. Uh, now that you are talking about your passion, we have a personal question. Uh, we, will, <laughs> we will go the, that way before uh, uh, come back to on empty and uh, yeah. deeply. Yeah. Uh, she's, uh, she's asking, how do you manage it all together, family and profession? You so inspire me a lot. It's a question from Selman D on Twitter. Selman oh, D, thank you very much for your question. This is um, it's one of the hardest questions, to be honest, that you can ask me because um, obviously I'm here, my family is in South Africa. Um, there is no easy answer to it. Uh, it takes a lot of hard work. Uh, it takes a lot of dedication, but I think one of the most important thing is enjoyment. So I, I wouldn't do this if I didn't enjoy it. I think any job uh, when you do not take any enjoyment out of it, um, there is no point. So for me, I get a lot of job satisfaction in doing my job, that's number one. But number two, I've got a very, very supportive husband and family. Uh, and I'm very fortunate that I'm married to a fellow accountant like me, who has been very senior in his life as well. He has had a very successful career as a CEO, as a COO, uh, and, and that makes it very easy. So family support is critical. I wouldn't be able to do this, to fly and leave my family behind and work in another country and see them once a month. Uh, if, if my family was not supportive. So the support of my husband and my family, my twin brother, my mom, everybody is very much involved in supporting us as a family. So the, the nucleus and the family unit is critical. Uh, and like I said, enjoyment of the job is absolutely a must. The hours in our sector are very long. Uh, if you come to MTN at six o'clock in the afternoon, the office is full. So we, we work very long hours. We work weekends as well. So the most important thing is you have to be, you have to be able to handle a lot of uncertainty in the job, uh, but you can't afford to be stressed. Rather, you have to be able to take the enjoyment out of it. So for me, those are the two most important elements of, of the job that keep me going. Okay, thanks, Billy. Uh, st uh, still on jobs, we have a, a question on YouTube coming from Andre Yenge. Hello, Audrey is asking me if you have, uh, will have a graduate program this year and how uh, uh, could she uh, integrate it? We are permanently looking uh, in innovative ways um, to attract talent and to train talent. So what I would say is please continuously go into our website, continuously interact with us on LinkedIn and on social media we do publicize these opportunities. So the, the way that we recruit people at MTN is based on fairness, and it's based on making sure that we get as diverse a group as possible. So right now, if you want to see what we are going to be doing and who we're recruiting, whether it is graduate, whether it's internship, whether it's full-time jobs, the best way to do it is really to interact with our website. But yes, we are continuously, at, uh, as all of you know, we are currently recruiting 15,000 uh, brand, brand ambassadors. Uh, and so if all of you, I know schools are closed, uh, if you are interested in earning some good money over the holidays, and it's really good, uh, we've improved the program even further. Uh, we are looking for people that are above 21 years old, that have got a phone, uh, all you, you just need to have finished high school, um, and there is a real good opportunity for easily you can make 100,000 uh, francs a month uh, by being our brand ambassador. So please go online, join the program. We are looking for people that are passionate. So there is another opportunity for as well for young people, especially for young people. And who knows where it will lead. You can start as one of 15,000 and in two years time you could be working inside MTN. It's a w another way of getting your foot through the door to the yellow world. So I really encourage all the students and all, any, everybody who's over 21, like I said, minimum you could easily earn 100,000 francs a month by, by, doing our brand, by being our brand ambassador. Uh, thanks, Billy. Uh, alors, je vais 
peut-être résumer rapidement pour Audrey parce qu'elle a posé sa question en français je, et je voudrais me rassurer qu'elle a compris. Alors la première des choses à faire et peut-être ce qu'il faut faire régulièrement, c'est d'aller sur nos sites web et sur nos plateformes où nous publions assez régulièrement euh, les, les offres qui, en ce qui concerne les stages, les emplois et probablement euh, les, programmes de, de, les programmes Young Graduate. Et parallèlement à ça, on a le programme euh, dans, dans lequel nous recrutons 15 000 brand ambassadors et c'est un programme qui permet de gagner un peu d'argent pour euh, nos amis, nos jeunes amis, étudiants, élèves pendant, pendant ces vacances. Alors, on va sortir des questions d'emploi pour entrer dans des questions euh, un peu plus actuelles. Uh, just hope you are ready for this. Uh, <laughs> a question from Lotin Josette. It's about mobile money. Yes. And she's asking why, uh, why did we uh, raise uh, tariffs? Thank you for that question. I've, I've received this question quite a bit this month. And she's emphasizing on the fact that it seems like you are late uh, 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 behind the competitor. <laughs> we are never behind competition. Trust, trust me on that one. Uh, look, we are, we are very much in the early stages uh, of digitizing cash in Cameroon. So let me just explain what mobile money is. Uh, mobile money in very simple terms is about digitizing cash. That's what it is. So in the good old days, when you wanted to pay for something, you needed to handle physical cash. If you wanted to send money home, you needed to put it in an envelope and either post it or send it by bus or go to a bank and do a traditional bank or do a transfer. So mobile money is really about easing our way of life. If what are we selling? We are not selling a new product that didn't exist. It's still money. But why mobile money is important, there's few things that make mobile money a very compelling proposition. Number one, it is comfort. You can do an ease of doing business you do not have to leave the comfort of your seat to be able to do any transaction. To send money home, it's 30 seconds. You click and it goes. So in terms of being, it's simple in terms of being able to interact or we are trying to make it simple as well. So in terms of what we are, we are, we are selling with mobile money, we are really trying to simplify our way of living. We are trying to b bring banking services to people that have traditionally not been able to open a bank account or have found it very expensive to have a bank account. So number three, one of the most pressing and the most competitive factors of mobile money is it is simple, but also it is cheap. So obviously in terms of pricing, we started with mobile money and it is still a journey. The pricing of mobile money now and then will evolve as the product itself and as more people use mobile money. So it's not because we're increasing pricing, it is really about we are starting a journey with our customers. If you look at countries that have got the most successful mobile money, whether you're looking at Kenya, you're looking at Tanzania, you're looking at Uganda, or you're looking in West Africa, Ghana and Ivory Coast, one of the things, it's exactly like our voice business. We constantly have to reevaluate uh, our pricing upwards and downwards. So this time it was a cycle that took the pricing upwards um, and it is part of the journey. It is going to continue and there will be a cycle where the prices come down. It really is about making sure that our customers, we can still, it takes a lot of investment for us to roll out mobile money. Uh, so for us to be able to continue investing in mobile money, we need to be able to make sure that we optimize uh, mobile money services. So that's really the reason, uh, and I thought it was important for me to explain what are we trying to do. We are very much in the early stages, and I'm very excited at the rate at which it is growing, and I hope my cu the customers are really enjoying using the product. Okay, uh, on Twitter we have uh Pierre Christian, uh, who asked the same question about uh, mobile money prices. Uh, Pierre Christian, nous espérons que vous avez uh, une réponse uh, satisfaisante. And still about prices, we move now to Facebook, where uh, um, Victor Dieu Marat 
is asking why our uh, uh, costs are still higher than those uh, <laughs> of competitors. <laughs> and saying that it seems like he's we, he as a customer is not receiving enough gifts. I hope you are receiving enough gifts. I, I hope, number one, you are buying my, um, our bundles. Uh, our bundles are very rich in gifts. Uh, I hope that most of our customers right now, we've got two offers that are very, very rich in, in bonuses. But more than anything, when you look at pricing, um, I don't believe in just offering the cheapest product. I'm a strong believer in offering a quality product. So at MTN, we are always pushing for quality. Uh, and I think all our customers saw yesterday that MTN was awarded a very, very prestigious award from Okla uh, as the fastest and best network in Cameroon. Now, Okla is a global company. I hope all of you have downloaded the app on your phones because I use this on a daily basis to check the speed of our network. Um, and for us to be awarded that prestigious award is because we have been the biggest investor in this sector. In the last two and a half years, we have spent over half a billion dollars on our network, dollars. Uh, and that is to make sure that we give you the quality, to make sure that right now, Cameroon, in two and a half years, we went, I don't know whether any of you still remember the average speed of internet in Cameroon was easily one megabit in 2015 when I, I arrived in Cameroon. We were lucky if you go to two uh, megabit a second, then you were really fast. Yes. If you look at our 4G network right now, if you live in Yaoundé, you are averaging 20 megabits per second. That is a huge transformation. Those are speeds that are comparable to Europe European uh, uh, speeds. I was in South Africa. Uh, and I was I constantly measure speeds and I was measuring the speed on my phone and my house and the speed in my house in South Africa is slower than Cameroon and oh. the, We only adopted this technology 10 years behind South Africa. So I think we should be really proud uh, Of the kind of speeds or the kind of quality uh, I know there are pockets of the country where the, the quality is still lacking and I can promise you it's coming uh, every day we are switching on new sites. It's a very big country, but I really think for us, the focus is about number one, we give you a quality network, and number two, we give you the best customer service. Um, I think if I can offer you those two things, uh, most of our, of our customers are very happy rather than I give you, I can give you a very cheap uh, price, but then you know, you'll be barely be able to talk on my network. Uh, sure. You'll be barely be able to receive the kind of speeds that we are receiving. Okay, uh, still on Twitter, we have a very tough question from Willy Manga asking, will you improve web hosting offers or do you prefer to rely on partners to develop this sector? Uh, we are constantly reinventing uh, our, our web ho hosting capabilities. But if he's got any ideas in terms of what kind of uh, products he's looking for, please, he must send us the input. And, we can and that's why we are having these interactions. If there is any product that you would like to receive as a customer, or if you are products that you are like to see MTN launching, please let us know. Please send us the recommendations in terms of what you would like to see. OK, thanks. Uh, Willy Manga, nous espérons que vous avez suivi et qu'on aura de, nou de vos nouvelles euh, très bientôt. Another question, euh, en tant que telco leader dans le digital, quelle est votre politique pour favoriser l'intégration de vos services? Uh, our strategy to improve uh, the, the integration of our services. Do you have a strategy? What do we, we, uh, we, uh, we intend to, to do on to integrate which our part? services? Uh, look, the, the integration of our services in terms of making sure that we have got, so is there a problem? In terms of making sure that our products are integrated, we are constantly making sure that we review. So you would see right now, mobile money is very much integrated with our traditional GSM, the voice 
and, and data services. Uh, we are doing the same on our enterprise side. So it's a journey, we are evolving, and we are making sure that we are continuing to relook really into further, uh, because it's one MTN, and we would like our customers to continue experiencing us as a single MTN. Okay, and now we move to another question from, uh, what's the name? Panglus Nyobe, who is asking which good surprise MTN company is preparing for us till the end of the year. Which? Good surprise. Watch the space. <laughs> it wouldn't be a surprise <laughs> if I tell you now. So watch the space. I think all our, cu our customers know that uh, we are very innovative. We are always looking at the best products that we can bring. Uh, we are always looking at making sure that this remains the most exciting telco in Cameroon. So watch the space and I can absolutely assure you that there is a huge pipeline in terms of what we want to do. Okay, uh, I, I just noticed that uh, Metalagia Polin, Melatagia Polin, uh, bring more uh, uh, details uh, about the question uh, related to the integration of our services. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's related to uh, integration of our solution in uh, our enterprise solutions, mm -hmm. uh, in comparing to the classic uh, solutions. So digital versus, I don't know, an analogy. If, if I can say like that, uh, how how do you how are you managing to to improve the integration of our services in enterprises? Look, enterprise the number one requirement right now that we need to meet uh, in, in 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 the country is to make sure that everybody has got access to fast internet. That is the foundation of all our enterprise offers. Then we start layering on top of that foundation. So the focus right now is that fast speed internet is accessed by every business, whether small business or a, a, a very big business in Cameroon, that they can access either via fiber or either via LTE, but making sure that that basic commodity is available to all our businesses. Obviously, once we have connected you as a business, we want to make sure that you have got a hosting capability. So you are able to have a website, for example, and that website, we can help you do that. And once you've got your website, then we start making sure that we can digitize your business, making sure that you can have a small ERP, you are able to do a POS that is linked, but it's a journey. So in terms of integration, we've got a very clear journey of how that journey evolves from basic to the most sophisticated products like Internet of Things, for example, and cloud services, which are on the most extreme side of, of, of the enterprise business. But the most basic functionality that we are still, especially in the SME sector, is making sure that all our SMEs can access fast speed internet, that they use that internet to transform their businesses they are able to digitize themselves as a business. And then once we move from that, we are able to put them in a bigger ladder to be able to access one of the biggest integrations, for example, believe it or not, is integrating mobile money as a means of payment online for our SMEs with the enterprise offers. So watch this space. Uh, we are already on that journey. And, and there's a real uh, uh, a longer journey that is being uh, uh, started to make sure that you start seeing the cross functionality, uh, for example, between mobile money and the traditional enterprise offers to make sure that all the SMEs, for example, they can integrate mobile money as a means of online payment. And that is coming within the next two months, and I'm very excited about that. Good, good things coming. Uh, let's go back to Facebook where Wakili Nana Isa is saying too many codes to check our refills. We like shortcuts to have information. Also, we like you, but you have been very pricey these years. Prices, again. <laughs> um, the, the issue of codes is one of the issues that I've addressed with my marketing team. So uh, the one way to uh, avoid the codes is obviously to make sure that you've got your My MTN app. Uh, once you've got my MTN app, you don't need to know any coders at all uh, to use. 
if you do not have my MTN app, I can absolutely assure you we are currently relooking really at making sure how can we have as few codes. We do not like codes ourselves. We know that they cause a lot of confusion. So I'm hoping that in the next six months, I will be able to communicate uh, how we can ease uh, the number of, of codes going forward. Yes, uh, uh, still on Facebook, Sylvie Mago. I think I'm using your internet, but I hate it when you steal my airtime. Stop it, it's too much. We I promise we will answer to all your questions. <laughs> I can absolutely assure you as MTN, I would never steal your credit. Cross my heart. Um, what does happen though, we do have an issue where a lot of our customers, we've do, got two classes of customers. Most customers have their bundles expiring at midnight. So they wake up in the morning thinking that the credit has disappeared, but they actually bought a daily bundle and that daily bundle expired overnight. If you hadn't bought a bundle, please check to make sure that your applications are switched off. So a lot of our customers right now that are experiencing credit disappearance, this th the phone is a very good product. But one of the things that we need to think about is that this is a computer. Exactly. And it's a live computer. And it's a very fast computer. So we really need to make sure that this computer, at any point in time, whether we are sleeping or awake, it is running. So a lot of what appears as credit disappearance is because the computer is permanently running. And the mere fact that we are receiving Facebook messages, mm -hmm. a one message, two messages, is because your phone is constantly pinging on my network and refreshing. So the background apps are really one of the biggest consumers of your credit. But I'm very excited to announce that within the next couple of weeks, we are going to be able, the customer will now be able to track themselves where did their credit go and why. So we are, we are launching something that is similar to a bank statement where when you wake up in the morning and you find that they've got credit that has disappeared, make sure that you can open up your computer and your, your, or your cell phone and your cell phone will be able to give you in detail, similar to a bank statement, exactly why your credit reduced. Either your bundle expired or you, you, you had uh, apps running, etc., etc. But as MTN, we would, I can promise you, it would be suicidal for MTN to steal our customers' credits. Most of the credit that seem to disappear is because of background apps or background um, a, 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 a applications that are running 24 hours on your phone. Twitter, Facebook, anything that you've got running that is giving you messages on your phone is constantly communicating with our network. Hello, Sylvie Mago. Uh, we hope you are you are feeling better, you are, you are not stealing your money, on ne vole pas votre argent. Et ça nous permet de, 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 de traduire pour ceux qui n'ont peut-être pas suivi l'annonce de la directrice générale, c'est que dans les prochaines semaines, il vous sera possible, chers clients de MTN, de vérifier à chaque moment les opérations que vous avez pu faire, un peu comme vous le faites avec votre compte bancaire. Vous savez, vous avez transféré de l'argent à tel, vous avez fait telle opération, vous avez été débité de tel montant, ainsi de suite. Vous pourrez avoir ces informations et vous saurez où votre crédit est passé en temps réel chaque fois que vous en aurez le besoin. Alors, a, a question <laughs> from Kana. It's very simple. Kana, I have your phone number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, well, um, I can absolutely assure you that uh, if you want to reach me, uh, I am available on social media. Uh, and um, my phone number, though, um, let me think. I have to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> but go on Twitter, <laughs> go on Facebook. Uh, you can contact us as MTN, uh, as MTN, not as PDCVC Media, at any point in time. Okay, thanks. Uh, we have a um, smaller message than a question from Sami Michel 
Fardisi, Miss Pili, please allow me to pose you two questions about connectivity and services. For connectivity, many global carriers are looking to collaborate with MTN to increase, increase the capacity of the internet connectivity. Will you please address if we can discuss this matter with you directly? That's the first. Second, as for the services, we are receiving many SMS from MTN providers to enroll with some games or useless services that end up stealing our credit. Mm. Will, you, will you kindly advise how to prevent Cameroonian nation from being stolen? We are looking forward to discuss, discuss these two subjects with you and to work together to push Cameroonian nation to the new technological level. Great questions. Uh, on, on, the, on the network side and connectivity, MTN has got an open door for anybody who wants to do business with us. We've got a marvelous procurement department uh, that is ready to receive any service provider that would like to help us uh, improve our connectivity. So please walk in at any time. You can just walk in at our reception at head office. You can send it by post. Send us your proposal. Obviously, if it's worth looking at, we will definitely call you and talk to you. So at any point in time, we've got an open door policy uh, in, in terms of being able to render those services. In terms of, there are two categories of messages that our customers are receiving. And one of the most concerning ones are fraud. SMSs. So please be careful when you do receive messages, do not, uh, especially messages that promise instant riches. You have won a competition. Uh, if you pay 50 francs, you will win a million francs. Um, those kind of messages. Some of them even include my name on it to say, PDC WCBI has nominated you as so and so if you do this. Any, MTN would never ask you to pay anything for a message in terms of you have won this, pay this. So please be careful online in terms of the kind of messages that you receive and, and that uh, you respond to. So, uh, and and that's, that's the message to, to our customers. Okay, we have a question. Uh, not sure it's the right place, but uh, we may talk about it. It's from Muriel Bonge. On peut déjà avoir une date pour l'effectivité, la portabilité des numéros, s'il vous plaît. It's about mobile number portability. If you have a date, if not. Uh, we've been promised uh, number portability in July. Um, as you know, that number portability was supposed to go online on the 1st of April. Um, so hopefully we will have some good news. Um, we, there is a legislation that is pending for us to launch. Uh, and hopefully this legislation is gonna be signed very soon. Um, so watch the space. We are also excited about portability because we think that it's going to real bring more competition in the sector and it's going to free up our customers to be able to choose the service providers that they want. Uh, so please watch the space. I'm really hoping, holding thumbs, uh, that finally we'll be able to go live in July, but we haven't received a definitive date yet. Okay, another question related to your mandate as CEO mm -hmm. and customers. How has MTN been able to increase value to customers during your mandate? Has it been all about making profits? It's a question from ICS Cameroon, Institute of Customer Services Cameroon. Uh, I wish it, were, it was uh, about making profit. I think, like I've just said, anybody who's lived in Cameroon in the last three years has witnessed a marvelous transformation, almost a Lazarus moment in terms of where the sector was in March 2015 and where we are in June 2017. If you look back where we're sitting in March 2015, our sector, we were so behind the world in terms of making sure that we've got internet, any kind of internet, let alone very high speed, let alone ta talking about the latest technologies, technologies like 4G technology. In the last two and a half years, we have been able to transform from being just a basic telecommunications company to really bringing the fastest speeds, and I mean the fastest that compare even with Europe. And like I've said, 
please download the Ookla app and test for yourself what the speeds are. The Ookla would not have awarded the best and the fastest company in Cameroon in terms of internet if it wasn't true. Uh, so in terms of investment alone, we have invested over a half a billion dollars and we continue to say, by end of 2018, we would have invested close to $750 million just on infrastructure to make sure that we are able. So I think our customers' lives have been completely transformed. Think of yourself in the last three years. What did you do daily? How did you talk to your family? How did you talk to your friends? So I really think in terms of what has happened and how have we transformed our customers' lives, look at mobile money. We've got a million customers today who are able to interact in the last three months alone, we're able to use unique customers. To s Mobile money takes less than 30 seconds to be able to send money from Douala to Kuseri. Yes. What would you have had to do three years ago? At a minimum, you would have had to wake up, bath, take a taxi, wait in a queue, fill up forms, deposit the money, sometimes wait up until the one day until that money is received and pay a very a lot of money. 2017, you wake up, you sit. 30 seconds, press store, the money is received on the other side. And the person on the other side also doesn't have to wake up and bath and get into a taxi. They can wake up and go to the nearest call box and get their money. That is massive transformation and it's exciting because the ease of doing business in Cameroon is about to get 10 times better, especially for the small guy that is just starting to do business. Being a, the cost of communication, look what was the price of a phone call three years ago. Look how much it costs today to be able to make a, call, a phone call. Today you can make a phone call for a milli you know, nothing if you're using WhatsApp. So the transformation of our customers, I really think there's been a vast transformation in terms, number one, of value. The products have become much more affordable than three years ago, but also the kind and the diversity of services. Whether you're looking on entertainment, whether you're looking at financial services, whether you're looking at the most important, the internet is the access to the world. You can sit with this device on your lap and you can access what we used to three years ago. You would have had to go to a cinema and pay a lot of money just to watch a movie. Guess what? Today, you just need Netflix. And I hope all our customers have got Netflix because it re it's, we've really been able to transform so many multi layers of our lives, with, like I said, entertainment, financial services, ease of doing business, ease of communicating, staying in contact with our relatives, with whether your relatives are here and overseas. Lastly, you are now able to receive money overseas and send money overseas with the very same service provider. If you go to the traditional you know, service providers, to send money, 30% of your money disappears just on fees. If you're trying to send money to Ivory Coast next door, if you tried to send money to Nigeria next door, huge money. If you were receiving money from France, from the US, 30% of that money would just disappear on the fees. In mobile money, it costs less than 10% of what you would pay, sometimes as close to it, uh, less than 5% even. So I think the transformation and the value that has been created for our customers is absolutely immense. Good, good insights. Uh, avant de continuer, je voudrais préciser que la particularité de ce, de ce talk show, c'est qu'il est en direct simultanément sur YouTube et sur Facebook. Et justement sur Facebook, on a d'autres questions qui arrivent. Uh, a question from Gideon à Tanga. Euh, on y avait déjà répondu, mais ce serait bien peut-être que euh, Pili revienne sur le sujet parce que c'est intéressant et ça concerne beaucoup de nos jeunes, de nos jeunes amis. C'est sur le brand ambassador. 
Uh, he said, I'm MTN brand ambassador. I wish to know the different opportunities MTN has for us in the long run. The best opportunity that you have is to be your own business, businessman or business lady. For me, the brand ambassador is a start of starting 15,000 small and medium enterprises at MTN. So if you are currently you are brand ambassador, one out of 15, currently, like I said, you can earn at a minimum 100,000 francs, up to 200 francs if you are working out, up more than that. What I would ask you and encourage you is how do you use this opportunity to set yourself as a proper business person? It is the biggest and the fastest way to go from being a small business to transform yourself to being a micro business, to becoming a medium business, and eventually to becoming my biggest distributor. So anybody who's out there amongst the 15,000, grab this opportunity, our doors are open, and really use it to say, you start with self-employment. How do you go from employing yourself to employing five people that are working with you, then eventually 10 people that are working for you, 50 people, and, and so all of a sudden within a year, you've really got a viable business. So for me, the reason why we launched the Brand Ambassador program is not because for the sake of Brand Ambassadors. For me, I look at these individual Brand Ambassadors as 15,000 small and medium enterprises, enterprises that we evolve with us from doing mobile money, a mobile money enterprise, a bank on the street, to being all the, bringing all the services that MTN offers. So I'm very excited that some of our brand ambassadors are starting to think beyond just being a brand, a brand ambassador. They're starting to think of themselves as what's next for me. And for me, that is exactly what is next. OK. Still on Facebook, we have Arun Aliwat. No, it's, uh, the question is from YouTube, asking, what about users of WiMAX? Uh, in the question, the guy feel abandoned <laughs> he, he, because he say you leave us for 4G. Uh, I, I, this is such an important question. Thank you very much for asking it. Uh, I'm sorry if you are if you are if you are feeling orphaned on WiMAX. The good news is that by this time next year, WiMAX would have disappeared. So we are currently migrating all our WiMAX customers uh, into. Uh, 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 faster LTE technology uh, and we've already started and currently we've got close to uh, 200 and 300 sites that need to be swiped out and we are busy so we will be in touch we've already started with some of our customers in Yaounda and Douala and all of you are going to be swapped out and you are going to, I, right now on YMAX you are limited to about 2 megabits per second and wait until you see what we are going to bring you uh, on LTE technology, we are going to be taking you to upwards of 50 and so in terms of, of speed. So watch the space, I can assure you, you, you are going to go from being the most abundant customer to being <laughs> the most excited customer in terms of what is coming. Thanks, Billy. Alors pour tous les clients uh, actuels du WiMAX, nous allons aller progressivement, migrer progressivement tous les clients du WiMAX vers la 4G LTE. Donc, Uh, ils vont prendre leur mal en patience et on en profite pour, leur, pour les remercier pour leur fidélité. Et je vais prendre une question de Bolinji Isaac sur Facebook. Alors, Bolinji Isaac, c'est uh, « I have been using your internet connections for long. I think so far you are the best in speed and reliability. I'm a software developer and I want to know much about your mobile money API. Please, when? Um. » Thank you for the compliment. I'm happy to, to, to like, like, like anybody and you know, any lady, we love compliments. So thank you for the compliment. Uh, continue using our internet. Uh, I think uh, in terms of our APIs, our API is actually the mobile money API is already available. It's just that currently it takes average, I think up to three days to integrate. So what we are currently doing is to make sure that the integration timeline goes from three days to a couple of seconds. So the one thing that we haven't done really well is to communicate about how to access the API. So in the next couple of weeks, just monitor our internet and social media, 
and we're going to be communicating a lot on how you can access our APIs, uh, mobile money API, but also to make it as easy as possible, almost instantaneous, uh, so that you, you know, it's self, you, you, you can self-serve in terms of doing it. Right now, the problem that we had was just the timeline that it takes to access the API, but it's actually already there. And what we are doing, like I said, there's a big development that we are bringing to really make sure that anyone who is either a software developer or anyone who is selling online absolutely anything that mobile money becomes the most preferred means of payment. So we are going to be communicating to you very shortly the absolute best way uh, to integrate with mobile money online. Okay, uh, here we go, uh, still on technology. Uh, another question from uh, Willy Manga. It's about uh, IPV, moving from IPV4 to IPV6. He's asking uh, us to address that. Uh, Noted. Any <laughs> 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 Can we promise something? Are we working on it? We are Things are coming. We are always working on, on, on improving. So absolutely, it's on its way. Okay. Uh, really, Manga, uh, just what? <laughs> IPv6 is coming. So we have, uh, we are having a lot of questions about uh, um, brand ambassador program, but... Uh, uh, really what I would say about brand ambassador program is the time is now. If you are a student and you are sitting at home, uh, when do schools open? They open in August. Uh, if you take, or September, if you take the next three months, at a minimum, uh, you come on board, just a basic Android phone, uh, like I said, you've got a minimum opportunity to make great use of yourself, you won't be bored, but you've got a real good opportunity in that in the next three months, at a minimum, you can end up with 300,000 francs in your pocket. So come online, come on board, we are looking for young, energetic people, you are going to be rewarded for your hard work, but most importantly, the people that I'm really targeting are people that want to start their own businesses and want to partner with us in the medium term and longer term. So yes, you know, you can use it as an opportunity to make money whilst school is out, but if you are really interested in starting a business and a viable business, this is one of those opportunities where all you need is a phone and we will be accompanying you throughout to make sure that you can convert it into a proper and a viable business. Okay, uh, we, we stay on Facebook where we, Facebook Live, where we are, where we are receiving a lot of questions. Uh, we have two questions from Tafis Official. The first question is, uh, you are already, you are all, always smiling. What's your secret? <laughs> I guess I'm a happy person. <laughs> <laughs> and the second question, uh, you already answered it, but is, I think it's related to MTN Brand Ambassador. It's asking, what do MTN have prévu for congés pour les jeunes in terms of divertissement and stage? I think the, the, the answer is MTN Brand Ambassadors. Mm. And you are going to another question from For New Ransom. We need social unlimited package with Twitter, WhatsApp, Facebook. We are always looking at reinventing our packages. So w keep the ideas coming. I'm very excited to hear all these inputs. So please send us your contributions. What kind of products would you like to see? What kind of uh, 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 experience would we like to have with us? What are the products are you finding hard to use? That is exactly why we're having this session. So I'm loving the ideas. Please keep them coming. We are very, I'm very excited by the input. We will spend a lot of time after this session to make sure that we collect all this information, we analyze it, and I can absolutely assure you, you will see the feedback coming through in terms of our products and pro product development in the next couple of weeks. Uh, still on Facebook, uh, it's, it's uh, Tafis again asking why MTN is not organizing, uh, again, great big uh, shows with free access. We've got soccer. I hope, I, 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 I hope um, our customers uh, are excited about the re-entry of MTN into soccer. 
uh, one of the most exciting developments that are coming uh, in Cameroon is 2019. So I really, we are gearing up for it. It's going to be a massive party. Um, I was in South Africa during 2010, during the World Cup. And for that one month that we're hosting the World Cup, we didn't sleep. Uh, I remember going one city to the next city. Uh, I remember a game I watched, uh, I think it was in Cape Town, uh, sitting right next to David Burkham. So there is a massive party coming to Cameroon in 2019. You can count on MTN. We are going to have the best fun. In the meantime, whilst we're waiting for 2019, watch the space and go to the stadium and support our soccer. We need you. Soccer needs our, our customers, need support because we need Cameroon to win. And for that to happen, we need to bring life back to soccer and our premiership. So uh, we obviously, other events are always coming. We're always re-looking really at making sure that we've got the shows, but we have to make sure that we continue. Okay. Uh, uh, at Putin, uh, I think we'll try to reassure him because he's complaining with the fact that you are always answering in English. Uh, I want to assume that you know a few words in French. <laughs> oh, I do. Uh, it's, it's the confidence of speaking that's a problem. Uh, I think anybody who's ever had to uh, learn a language, uh, the hardest thing that you have to do is to make yourself vulnerable and, uh, and to speak French. So I've come a long way from not knowing French at all uh, to being able to go from Bonjour, ça va, comment allez-vous? Uh, all of those things. Um, and my favorite, my favorite uh, sentence, uh, you know, ce n'est pas possible, or possible <laughs> which is my team always laughs at me when I say it because it, it's, 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 it's what's, you know, my, my standard answer for everything. So I'm learning. I think anyone who's ever learned French would know that it's a tough language. Uh, and it's uh, very confusing for me, for example, uh, when to use la and oh le. le. So I, 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 I asked my, my, my coach, for example, can I just say le for everything? And I was told, no, no, no. no. <laughs> that, that, that would be completely wrong. So I'm learning mm -hmm. uh, and I promise myself that uh, by the time I, I go back home, uh, I will be, ba you know, basic conversation, but it, it's a tough language. It really is. She's, she keeps learning. Et c'est sur cette note de, de bilinguisme que nous allons mettre euh, un terme à cette première session de, de, de Axe to Pili. Euh, mais avant, peut-être un dernier mot euh, à l'endroit de ceux qui nous écoutent. Nous, peut-être les remercier. To thanks them, last word. <laughs> are you putting me to a test here? Yeah. I'm looking at you, I'm like, what are you trying to do? <laughs> uh, I, I would really like to thank everyone. I know that one hour was not enough. I really wish that we could have continued. Like I said, we're going to make this a frequent session. Uh, thank you very much for taking your time to give us feedback because this is really why we must have this session. Uh, keep it going. I really, please go into our Twitter account, go into my Twitter account. Um, my Twitter account is run by me personally, so it's not even run by someone independent. I read all of your tweets. I read all the Facebook interactions that happen in our Facebook page. Our, even at the MTN Cameroon Twitter account, I read it. So please make sure that you use, we are in the digital age, and that is the most beautiful thing, that we don't need to see each other face to face for us to engage. So please follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook. I personally read all these pages, MTN Cameroon, on, 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 on Twitter and on, on Facebook. Uh, and keep the ideas coming. Give us the feedback. We don't want just to hear the great, you know, good feedback. We want to hear the criticism, we want to hear the constructive feedback because that is how we improve, uh, that is how we evolve. So I am hope to see you in the near future uh, and I hope to make this a new habit and a new way of us meeting and interacting uh, and I hope that you are enjoying MTN. Thank you very much. Merci encore. Je voudrais rassurer tous ceux qui ont des questions en suspens, vous aurez des réponses euh, que ce soit sur YouTube, sur Facebook, sur Instagram, j'ai vu quelques questions là-bas aussi sur Twitter. 
vous aurez des réponses à toutes vos questions parce que nous avons un service client disponible sur toutes ces plateformes et disponible depuis quelques jours sur WhatsApp. Nous sommes partout pour vous satisfaire. Euh, C'est la première édition et ce n'est pas la dernière. Donc, on va se retrouver très prochainement. Merci à tous nos amis de Facebook, tous nos amis de Twitter, tous nos amis euh, de YouTube, tous nos amis sur les réseaux sociaux. Et à très bientôt. Thank you. Bye.